Hey there, signs of cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your week coming up um, August 30th through September 5th. Hope you're doing really good. Hope everybody's doing really good. Um, let's see here. We're going to start with an oracle card, as I normally do. And then we're going to go into the tarot and we're going to do a Celtic cross today for your week coming up. Cancer for your week coming up. Commitment came out from, by the way, this is a spell casting deck. Sorry, I didn't even mention that. Okay, so commitment and healing. Maybe healing something within a commitment. Maybe a commitment that you have made. Well, healing it by either moving on and tying up a loose end or healing it and coming into being with this commitment. All right, so Hierophant energy, possibly Four of Swords type energy with that healing card. So we're gonna jump right into the reading then. Let's see where it takes us. All right, Cancer, calling in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for Cancer. Let's move them forward always for their week. Okay, so what's going to be the issue with our Cancers? What's the issue in the week? What's the issue? Issue is Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The devil in the reverse is here as a challenge. Okay, some of you are getting over some addictions, addictive behavior, or um, something that got in the way of work. Whatever this is, this is healing. Um, I see because of this healing card and also the feelings I'm getting off of the devil in reverse and the eight of pentacles, there's healing on lots of levels. It's going to end up helping how things are working, how you see things working out, how things are working out, the devil energy. So try, maybe, um, maybe something, it was not working for you. And so we had to get rid of some vices. Uh, I'm just going to keep going because the challenge is usually our shadow side. Um, this one's specific in that uh, whatever this is, it was causing something to stop working. Okay, whether it's a relationship or uh, whatever it is, it interfered. Whatever it is, this attachment has interfered in a great way with something that used to be working in your life or working for you. Okay, so what's the root? What's at the root of this? Let's get some more information. Four of Cups. A challenge, temptation, possibly drinking for some people or possibly just being around the uh, other people that would be influencing you. Possibly. Four of Cups is also feeling a little bit over the scene. Like over your situation. Over it type of energy. So Four of Cups being withdrawing. Really, I feel like this is withdrawing, but focusing on you and what's working. Something isn't working for you. Let's just sum it up like that. Something isn't working for you. The challenge, I don't know if it's temptation. It might be because we have the lovers on the bottom. Might be like feeling soulmate energy and wondering if there's more options out there. It might be something like that. Um, what is the past energy here for Cancer? What's the past energy for Cancer? Two of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. Four, four, all two. So this is definitely about commitment, relationships, partnerships, whether it's a partnership at work or whatever either one in the past it has you doing um well not being able to sustain doing everything yourself okay and that might be what led up to parting i guess it, it's, it's funny because this girl kind of looks the same in both of these four cards you know the four of pentacles four of cups this is withdrawing too is this a pattern then maybe i'm feeling a pattern here 
when things stop working, you withdraw and and um, keep quiet about it. I'm feeling like you withdrew and kept quiet about it, things when they stopped working or when something wasn't working for you. Leading you vulnerable and open to the temptations that the devil energy can bring. All right. Let's keep going. It's in the present energy. So the, there's an energy of being really shut off here, Cancer. Um, I don't know what that's about. I, it feels like action. Things actually working tangible. Having things actually work for you. Nine of Swords, but in the reverse here. So that, that well, <laughs> this is what it looks like. Okay, I get it. So you're no longer keeping quiet just because you feel like there's nothing you can do to fix it. That might have been a go-to behavior for you uh, to just keep quiet about something if it wasn't working out because there's nothing that you could do about it. But I feel like you're, you're getting away from that, meaning you're about to stand up and say something. Getting ready to stand up and say something. Speak up about something. Might be something uh, very emotional or, uh, you know, family relationship and uh, wise. What is the near future energy here? Not the two of swords. Speaking up about something that might not be working for you. Maybe you understand that this is a decision. There you go. Speaking up when something doesn't feel right to you, near future, even going as far as making a decisive decision based on what you've been through and what you're feeling. Been postponing it. You've been postponing it and you haven't said things. You've been, ca you've been quiet. You've been keeping quiet. Even though things weren't working, you've been keeping your mouth shut and they're not going to anymore. There's a... Uh, no more. It's like you're going to have to fix this or you let it go. How do you feel? Full? Half and half? Look, I feel like she even has that. Uh, some of you feel like fixing. Some of you feel like leaving. Okay, it's up in the air here. Some of you feel like leaving it up to spirit, up to a higher source to, to you know, decide whether or not this new beginning needs to start right now or whether this new beginning is even in the cards for you. I can tell you it is. It's in the cards for you. A new beginning. Taking a leap of faith and speaking up when something's not working is important. That's just a big, that's a big message for you. All right. It's a torn, you've torn between something. This is a, it's a difficult decision. It's not an easy decision here. The surrounding energy. What's the surrounding energy? Ten of Wands. Justice in the reverse. Well, you're wanting a new beginning to make things fair because yet again... <laughs> I'm seeing you here in a burned out position, not being able to do everything. And certainly it's not fair. There's something about the way that this is working out. It's not working because it's not fair and someone else is having to carry more of the load. And it's been like that. Something has been like this in the past too. And it was never, and nobody ever said anything about it. But now someone's going to speak up about it. Could be a work situation too, you know, and, and and or relationships at work. I feel that with that little calendar back there, but you know, something that's gone on for too long, unbalanced, unhealthy, not fair. The heart and uh, the heart. What is the heart? What is the hope and fear? I don't know why I got that from that. Hope and fear. Hope and fear. 
hope or fear, not seeing what's coming your way. But then and again, when you ask, um, when you ask you if you like surprises, you know, you're probably going to be like, yeah, I love surprises. So in a way you fear what's coming. And then in another way, you hope that you could see what's coming. You want to know what's coming. Um, sometimes you want to know, sometimes you don't want to know. That's the energy. Sometimes you want to know, sometimes you don't want to know. All right. The outcome. The outcome. A little bit cryptic, guys. A little bit cryptic, I must say. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles in a reverse. Wondering if this is even worth it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, wondering if something was really even worth it. And it might be time and attention put into a business. This could be somebody who gave you bad business advice. And I hate to say it like that. But this is somebody that could be like the head of a business that doesn't know what they're really even doing. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That might be the outcome. That might be what you're dealing with here. Uh, but let's go further. Let's go further. Some more on this outcome, please. Seven of Swords in the reverse is a great card to get. And it kind of reminds me of um, Sagittarius' reading. And look at that. King of Wands on the bottom. The underlying Leo. Leo, and I keep feeling commitment. Keep hearing commitment and the commitment. Fixing family issues at this time. Oh, yeah, definitely fixing family issues at this time. Not letting people know that something is not as victorious as what they may it may think it is, like, on the outside. Um, there was some deception. There were some things that, um, lying, cheating, stealing. But listen, it's going. It's going. This energy of the lying, cheating, stealing, that thief, thieving energy, um, it's going. Deceptive energy is going. And the star in the Ace of Cups, you're not going to do the same thing over again this time. You're going to be bold. You're you're changing. Okay, you got the star. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. They're both in the reverse, meaning we're going to have to reanalyze what it is that we really want. What we used to think we want, it doesn't float our boat anymore, okay? There are family issues. There are things that have been buried that no one wants to talk about and no one wants to even fix, but they are coming up to be dealt with and they're coming up to be fixed cannot be ignored um and then also the queen of wands here is this is like your the final yeah something was not right with this patriarch unhealthy patriarchal energy i totally agree but it's like this new power couple here to save the day this might be you leo <laughs> this might be leo this might be Aries. i know you're not leo cancer <laughs> but i mean this might be you this leo card king of wands it might be you with both of these uh, masculine and feminine doing things yourself getting something done wow because you're creating it and you're fix you're you're fixing you can't co completely fix every okay the message is you can't completely fix and change things that were already done past is past Especially when it's something that was it, it, within a family line, not even something that you are directly attached to, but you can fix um, this point on. From this point on, you can fix things. I don't know why I keep having the word fix, but it just feels so unhealthy what you're having to deal with and go through. And you're like, no more of the same old, not again. Inner child work to inner child work anything else spirit anything else and of course three of swords upright heartbreak and then ace of pentacles is good good five of wands some conflict but queen of cups look look all right so we see a person who's definitely into self-care and themselves right self-love so that you can see it reflected and as your self-care gets higher and better and you get better at the self-love you may find yourself not agreeing with some of the people in the other vibrations that you left from okay so anybody that's kind of resonating at a, at a lower vibration maybe at a point that you were at you're probably not going to get along with anymore but look look this is an opportunity even though it looks like an argument and it looks like people are breaking up that's a bad thing this is actually an opportunity for you to put this three of swords energy behind it's an opportunity to move on and get away from that three of swords energy of loss 
it's actually your gift. Be bold and daring because this experience, this sadness, this suffering, the loss is a gift. All right, that is your message. Cancer, fairy, what do we have for fairies? And Sagittarius had that too. Maybe you're giving somebody flowers or maybe somebody's getting flowers from a Sagittarius. All right, we have flowers. Flowers will brighten up your space and create a fairy friendly place. Wishing well to make some wish magic, cast this spell and throw pennies into the wishing well. And medicine, veggies and fruit from yellow to blue like medicine. They are good for you. Thank you, Cancer, sending you love and light. Hope you enjoy this. Bye, guys.